Watch Brian Rose play what I guess some people say is the greatest WWF video game of all time. WWF No Mercy, so. Certainly one of them. You, you're acting like there's doubt there because you never played video games. Is that it, Brian Alvarez? I haven't played a video game since I was in eighth grade. When I, you I, did play a video I game, it was not that one? Oh, really? So you yeah. were too good to play WrestleMania 2000 or I didn't WCW? Play, I never played one wrestling video game. You want to know why? Because I actually wrestled. Uh, no, you didn't. I actually wrestled, you bum. You didn't oh, wrestle. You were doing here. gymnastics. Get, you dude, I did that. amateur wrestling when I was in junior high before I even started doing gymnastics, you nerd. And I'm a jujitsu mm. black belt, so don't even get on me. Mm, hey, listen, sure. we got news here. I will get on you on top, and then you won't be able to get off. Bro. So get, get me on my dude, back. Dude, I'd give you $1,000 for every minute that you could stay on top of me. $1,000 a minute. Mm. You hear me? You have no idea the levels of spite I have for you. It's putting it nicely. So AEW, we had a lot of stuff going on there. It is going to be MJF. Challenging John Moxley for the title at the pay per view. John Moxley beat Darby Allen. And they had a very, very fun match, and they put Darby over as strong as they could before Moxley beat him. This this Darby Allen. The storyline is he's a young John Moxley. And John Moxley sees himself in young Darby, and he tries to be every veteran ever, giving young Darby advice. But he himself knows because he was once a young Darby that Darby is not going to listen to his advice. And in fact, young Darby did not. Ed Moxley unfortunately had to take him out back and put a bullet in his head, and he felt terrible about it afterwards. But such is life. That's yeah, the way things work. Lessons to be learned, young bucks. That's what that's what happens. And I thought that was it's probably not gonna get the most play because most people are just gonna watch the match. But yeah, I mean there was when Moxley was talking about his death match times and all that sort of stuff and risks that maybe he shouldn't take. I mean, these are the th same things that are said about Darby Allen sometimes. And then we had the debate between Chris Jericho and Orange Cassidy, which I don't want to say that I had no faith. I figured that they would make a verbal debate with Chris Jericho and Orange Cassidy work. But not only did they make it work, it was awesome. So Orange Cassidy cut a promo on him after answering one question about global warming. And they will face off next week. And I this person here says, I am not liking all of this blood in AEW. It's overdone, so less effective, and gushing blood is just gross. Bro. Matt Hardy feels the same way. Listen, he didn't want that. I'll tell you exactly <laughs> what happened last night, okay? So, apparently, there were two chairs out there, okay? One of them was your traditional folding chair, and the idea was that Sammy would throw the flat part of it, just like Sabu, Matt Hardy, who you saw, got his his arms up. It was just supposed to be a chair shot and no blood, okay? Now, the problem was, they're out there in the heat of the moment, and Sammy was very excited, and he looked around, and he couldn't find that chair. Hit him with an armoire. So instead, he found one of those really heavy chairs, a totally different kind of chair, and he panicked, and he threw it, and he hit Matt Hardy, and he busted him open, and Matt Hardy needed 13 stitches, okay? When Sammy went through that curtain, I don't know how many guys pulled him aside for a talking to, but, I mean, I've heard many. So he got chewed out. He was told it was very careless, and that's what happened. It was an accident. So this was not designed to be. It wasn't like they went on TV and they were like, "We're gonna, we're gonna cut Matt Hardy from ear to ear. And he's gonna bl bleed everywhere." And then, you know, in the main event, John Moxie's also gonna bleed from an aid. I mean, that was not the. There was gonna be one blood spot on the show. It was supposed to be MJF hitting Moxley because they're the main event of the next pay per view, and an accident happened. And honestly, if you watched it, they cut away fast from that Matt Hardy thing. I he mean, they pouring. showed they showed everything that they had to show, and then they got the hell out of there. So that was not by design. No, he left a puddle. I mean, the puddle was <laughs> pronounced right away. <laughs> there was concern. And when Sammy, you know, when they flashed to the shot and they cut to the shot of Sammy before he actually did the dive off the top, you know, you get the feeling he looked down there and went, oh, God, I'm going to get my ass kicked when I go to the back. And I'm <laughs> again, I'm sure he did verbally. Uh, maybe nobody put hands on him to, like, grab him and shake him and go, boy, slow down. But, yeah, that was 
absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. And maybe, maybe the throwing the chair spot should maybe go away. I know it could be done very safely or as safe as you can f- throw the flat part of a chair at somebody's head. Uh, but maybe, you know, in situations like that, it, it's not necessarily needed. 